Grenon Castle was built in the 13th century by the Anglo-Norman, Thomas Fitzanthony. Shortly after arriving in Ireland with William Marshall, he became Seneschal of Leinster. The townland is still known by the name Fitzanthony gave to the area of land around the castle, Grenon. Thomas Town, the village that built up around the manor house, was named after him. He was the founder of St. Mary's Parish Church in Thomas Town. As Fitzanthony's only son predeceased him, his estate was divided amongst his five daughters. The castle had an entrance to the second floor on the south side by a staircase built hidden into the thickness of the wall. At the top of the staircase is just a gaping opening down to the floor below. This opening was originally covered by a trapdoor. Hence, with the trapdoor raised, the castle was almost impenetrable. The first floor of the castle contained the Great Hall, and the second floor reached by a flight of steps in the east wall contained the dormitory area. In 1650, Cromwell's troops called to the castle. The siege lasted only two days. The garrison marched out, leaving all their weapons behind them and promised to never again oppose English rule. The 20-meter-long rectangular castle stands on the west bank of the River Nore. The ruin was in relatively good condition until the early 19th century. Since then, the courtyard walls and outer buildings have been destroyed. These included a water mill, outhouses, and large orchards. Sadly, all the windows, doors, and most of the coin stones have been robbed from the structure. If you like this kind of content, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you for visiting.